Hello everyone, I am going to do a quick um, run through of how to get to Warlords without killing anything. Uh, this is going to be very handy for people doing the pacifist challenge. Um, because right now you would not be able to get into Warlords um, without going through that level 90 uh, half hour bunch of quests where you do need to kill stuff. So as you can see my total kills is 16,243. I'm just gonna run it on a character that's level 90. Um, and as you can see I did a... I'm actually already here. Uh, I did a run through once and it kinda... there's some glitches and stuff. I wanna see if it happens again. Uh, but so far I didn't have to kill anything and we're gonna start. We start by get yourself to your Mists City. So, um, if you're not there, uh, get to Orgrimmar or get to Stormwind, and you will be able to um, take a portal that will take you to the uh, uh, Jade. Forest, um, but for all intents and purposes, it's this, basically the same thing. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, I don't have flying. That figures. Do I have enough money? I do have enough money. I don't have any money now. Okay, so we're here at the Horde fly point, um, and we're just going to mount up and head on out. Now the key thing for the uh, Timeless Isle is that you need to be able to get to this certain campfire without uh, being attacked because um, with the amount of armor that you have at level 90, you're probably gonna get killed fairly quickly. These guys are level 90, but they're 90 plus, so um, they're gonna kick your arse. So, uh, one of the trickier parts is getting through here because now that hardly anybody is on Timeless Isle, um, there's more mobs, so we're gonna gonna go around here it's key to not get too close to the town because you'll aggro the mobs that are in there but it looks like it's fairly smooth sailing here um, one thing to watch out for is that if the rare is up so he is up he does have mobs around him Uh oh well that's no good Uh, Alright, so this mob, this rare, has some of some guys that will attack you here. So, how are we going to get through that? What you can try to do is... Uh, now you got these guys here. 
and you cannot get past them I wonder no you can't get past them without setting them off and I know you can't run through there because the frogs will come after you too so what you can do is you can try swimming all the way around if those two guys are not there then you're able to jump up and go across and jump over but because they are we're gonna have to go around the long way so we will fast forward from here it's no big deal uh, there are mobs down there but they should be too far away um, we're just gonna keep going around Okay, now that we're here, um, basically we're going to go around this corner and you'll see that there's a pirate ship over there. Um, you don't need to worry about them. Uh, there should be no mobs around you on this side. If we went the other way, there is a spine claw down there and there is a frog that will prevent you from getting to where we need to go. So that's why we uh, go around the long way. Um, so here we are. We're almost there. We are not going on the ship. Whatever you do, I, I mean, if I mean, if you can see, like they're fairly close. So if you can, just stay as far away as you can. Once you get here, dive down. You'll see these ledges, uh, and you'll swim past them a little bit. and into this cave down here oh well I guess it dismounted me for being too close to the roof or something so what you want to do want to sit down click on the blue fire and now you are in warlords but you're not done yet so it is tempting to go over that way because there is a fly point near 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 that um, I actually wonder no so yeah see tempting so you want to run over here and you're going to jump off you're going to aim for that island over there and if we look at the map we're actually going to be going all the way around and up into the iron uh, uh, docks area so I'm going to fast forward this part Okay, so we're going to get up on this beach here. Um, you don't need to worry about these things because they're yellow. They should not attack you, even though they're level 93. Just don't right-click on them and go near them. That would be bad. Um, and we are going to run all the way over. Huh, what's that? I don't know what that is.
I'm gonna stick it up there. I wonder. I wonder if there's a faster way to get to the garrison. Level 100, but he's friendly. She's friendly. Broken Horn Village. I have never seen this place before. Do they have a flight path? Anyways, that's not what this video is about. So, we're going to, you can run up there. What I was going to do is run around along the coast, the beach, but I think this might be a faster way to do it. So we run, run, run. Hey, and if you are doing mining, you can mine. And actually, as a pacifist, you probably should be doing mining, so you get a little bit of XP right there. And we just run all the way around the coast. Which is a lot faster than some of the other guys that say that you should swim. There are no mobs here. You're not going to waste your time by swimming. This cuts uh, uh, down on a lot of time. Uh, if you are ally, um, you probably can't do this, but you can still go up along... You still can't get up and take and take them out all along that beach. That's that's uh, closer down there. Um, but with horde, it looks like uh, you get a bit of a uh, advantage. However, the end of our trip might not. You might not feel that way. So we'll see how it plays out. Because when you land, there are two Gronlings that are fighting. Okay, so here we get to the end of where we can go, of where we can ride. So we just carefully go down on each cliff. And, and we got that one. And we're down here. Great. And we go around. And because we're Horde, we talk to this flight guy. Take me back. Whoa. That would have killed... That could have killed you as a pacifist. So you need to watch out for the uh, arrows and stuff like that. That was very close. Look, I was even actually at half health. We are almost at our uh, landing spot, and like I said before, you're going to land right in between the middle of two Gronlings that are fighting. Um, now, when I landed here the first time, uh, it actually made me fall through the world, and I got DC'd, uh, and I, when I reconnected, I ended up in a safe spot. When I did this the first time, the very first time, a couple months ago, I landed and I was attacked and I had to kill these things. See? Okay, we're going to land. And it's making me fall through the world. They've hit me once. I'm going to DC. And hopefully... Come on. I've been disconnected. And I usually quit because I don't bother putting my username and stuff. I just log in from Battle.net. And we'll reconnect. And I'll get on Nordain, which is my level 90. This is actually my original character that I rolled back in vanilla way back in the day. Way back. Uh, she is not my main anymore. My main is a blood uh, uh, death knight. So we're still falling. And it pops us up here. The Gronlings are over there. Nobody is coming after us. Let's check our stats. We are still at 16,243 kills. And that's it. <clears throat> so you can get here. Um, if they start to... 
the, the, the attack you, um, I would say your best bet is to run down this way because it looks like there's less stuff to attack you. And hopefully by the time you get over here, ugh, yeah, it, it's going to be touch and go. If you've got any way to get out of combat, uh, I would do it. Actually, so if you go this way, you should be pretty good. Just got to avoid that guy. Um, and so far I have not aggroed anything. So, yeah, you should be able to leash him by running over here. And if not, I'd say just jump down and you should be fine. There might be a pack of boars that pad around there. I don't think they come up this far, though. So as of now, you should be good to go, and that's for Horde, for Ally. I'm not really sure. I've not tried it. I might do one uh, when I get a level 90 up to that point. Um, that's all for now. See you next time.